surprises me, Miss. So, guys, you wondering why I'm doing my hijack? I'll see why I probably sound like complete shit right now. No, I'm not. First of all, no, I don't know for sure. But I might be getting sick again, which sucks. And then, there's why I'm using my Sonic OC. And that's because we're reviewing Sonic Prime today. And you guys are probably wondering, Mason, you literally fucking said in the Super Mario Bros. Super Show review that you would review, um, wait. <coughs> that you will review Avengers of Super Mario Bros. 3 after the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. And I was like, I mean, why well, kind of lie? Because. Because when I was watching Sonic Prime, so guys, I was watching Sonic Crime and Science. Because, like, I was watching some Sonic Prime and Science. Like, it was actually really, it was actually pretty good. Like, really, really good. And I was also eating some, some hot Cheetos while I was in Science. Don't ask why, but yeah. I was. Yeah, and also, guys, I just want to warn you guys, there will be some spoilers, like a lot of spoilers in this video. So, if you guys haven't watched Sonic Prime yet, because Sonic Prime literally came out um, Thursday, so it literally came out Thursday. So, so if you haven't watched Sonic Prime yet, click up this video. Go watch Sonic Prime for the love of God, and then after when you're done watching all the ep all the eight episodes, then just come back to this review, okay? Because I don't want to ruin quote unquote ruin the show first, because I spoiled it for you guys. Cause I, cause, cause I, cause, so yeah, that's your warning now. Go ahead and click on the video and go watch Sonic Prime if you haven't. Cause, cause Sonic Prime. Cause, I mean, cause it's real big spoilers. So, yeah. Alright, let's get into the story, I guess. Alright, so the story for Sonic Prime, before we get into that, but, uh, can we just say that Sega actually had a pretty good, I'm not gonna have a pretty good year this year. Like, Sonic Frontier, I think it was in the Game Awards, I think, because I didn't watch the Game Awards. Um, like, Sonic Frontiers, first did really well. Pretty, it's actually a really good game. Go check it out. And I know I don't have Sonic Frontier. I just some gameplay. I don't know why the fuck it is. Go check it out and stuff. But yeah, um, Sonic Frontier did really well. The, the, oh yeah, the Sonic movie. Sonic movie that also did really, really well. The box office. So this was like a pretty good year for Sega, now. And Paramount, movie. yeah, it's pretty, it was actually a pretty good year for, for Sega, like, we got the Sonic movie too, we got Sonic Frontiers, and we also got Sonic Prime, so, yeah, it's a pretty good year. Oh, oh yeah, we also got Sonic Origins, we also got Sonic Origins. Alright, but seriously, I'm gonna get into the story. Alright, Sonic Prime is basically like a um, Netflix Sonic show, obviously, because it's on Netflix. Which, actually, which episode one actually premiered at like a feet like five days back? Like, I think like five days before the actual series was gonna launch on Netflix. It actually premiered early. I'm never gonna put this on fucking Roblox. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It literally premiered on Sonic Speed Simulator. That's fucking crazy. Which honestly does make sense though, but yeah. That's have to be crazy. And now I don't know. 
play Sonic Speed Simulator anymore. I mean, I used to play it, but I don't really play it anymore. Got boring, have fun. So, yeah, uh, Sonic Prime is actually pretty. It's actually really good, though. No? Real good series. Um, basically, or right, the furthest I'm not gonna get into the story. Basically, it's basically like about Sonic Odyssey. His friends, and then fat ass Eggman. He basically come to ruin all that and stuff. The usual Sonic game. The usual Sonic game or Sonic plot, I guess. But this time, trying to get the Paradox Prism. Some type of like mystical, powerful gem. Gem crystal looking motherfucker. And Eggman wants it. Obviously, because he wants Amy powerful with the chaos on or something. The huge hell, I even bet he would cut off his leg for. He would probably even, probably even cut off his goddamn leg for for a fucking uh, chaos on I bet. But yeah. Uh, like, Eggman wants the Paradox Prism. Uh. When Sonic and his crew. In the game, are fighting Eggman and stuff. You know, like boom, boom, a splash, splash, a exploding car and all that shit. Or not exploding car, but exploding robots. But yeah, um, Eggman is about to get their parents for giant robot. So I come to them, go fuck him up and stop him. But like all Sonic's friends are like, oh shit, Sonic, don't, 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 don't. Sonic being the cocky gobo son of a bitch he is still does it and end up actually shattering the actually end up even shattering the fucking paradox prism in the process sending him to a whole nother fucking dimension he also loses his memory on the way oh yeah shadow's also in this here Imagine how good Shadow voices. I'm, I'm wait, I want you to take notes, Paramount. Like, holy shit. Whoever the voice out there is, I want to have an interview. Like, holy shit. Like, god damn, your voice is really good for Shadow. Like, he actually should be probably even the voice actor for Shadow in Sonic Movie 3. Like, god damn. That's actually a really, that's actually really good. That really does fit Shadow. Besides, but still, I really, but still, I think Griffin's Shadow voice is better, though. Just different Griffin's Shadow. I love his on voice, but yeah. Alright, let's get into the spoilers. Alright. We're in spoilers. And again, again, I want to say spoilers for if for any people, I mean, spoilers for any people who haven't uh, watched Sonic Prime yet. I'm going to warn you again go watch Sonic Prime. Close the video. Go watch Sonic Prime if you haven't. And after when you're done watching all eight episodes, then, then go and. Click on this video, so, so yeah. All right, let's get into spoilers. Um, this is really good, really good. But, but yeah, um, this is really good. Though. But somehow I think that was gonna happen. Like, you know Rusty Rouge? Okay. The man in the Chaos Council. Chaos Council. I actually, I did die. Oh, then when I watched the trailer, I did not expect that he working for the Chaos Council. I thought, like, Amy had died, and then, and then, like, Rebel Rouge, and then Rebel Knuckles. Probably the other Rebels, probably, uh, Build her in the, in the rusty roof of fucking 
they turned her into a fucking killing machine. They can literally probably murder anyone. Like, like, like the fucking Terminator. Oh yeah, I did turn him. I definitely did. Maybe, I don't know for sure. Cause I never watched the other Terminator movies. The only Terminator movies I watched was Terminator 1 and 2. That's about it. So, yeah. Um, Sonic Prime. Let's get back into the review. Um, it's, yeah, this show is really good. Yeah. Um, okay, um. Not one of my favorite character, series, not live, is either Rusty Rose. Well, I would say, not, I'm not gonna do my favorite villain. That was in the series. Not has to be Rusty Rose. It's definitely Rusty Rose. Rusty Rose, Rusty Rose all the fucking way. He's actually a pretty cool character. <clears throat> not what she really is. She looks like a sort of fucking killing the sheep. Like where if Sonic never if Sonic never existed maybe maybe like a dimension where Sonic never existed that would be cool though but something that I feel would be really cool if you see like other like versions of Sonic I think that's something they could have probably done like where we could like see other versions of my boy Sonic. And that actually be cool though. Seeing other dimension versions of Sonic, that actually be cool. Um, like this series is pretty good. Like really, really good. Go check it out. Very good. Um, um you know this is pretty so badass. Not gonna lie, like, like it really is. I love. This, I just love my character in general. I love how he won those characters that just doesn't give a fuck about anyone. Like, he literally doesn't give a shit about anyone. He's like one of those strong characters that just doesn't give two shits about anyone and only can care for himself. And only like take care of himself. Kind of like, um, oh, the moments of Fiona from how Fiona did that and uh, Shrek Happy and I and Shrek Forever After. I remember that and stuff. How, yeah, like that was pretty good movie. But still, Shrek, Shrek 2, best. Shrek 2, Chef's Kiss. Fucking Chef's Kiss. Like, yeah, um. But yeah, um, Sonic Prime is really good. Much better. Not really, but like I love how Nine is basically like a badass version of my life. Like a that like that type of strong character who just doesn't give a shit about anyone, but only but not much. But it's not selfish. But only like Cake takes care of himself, you know. Just doesn't give a shit about anyone. It's not selfish though. But, yeah. But when you put that with that, it's kind of more selfish. But yeah, like I just love. But my favorite dimension, not mine, has to be the garden dimension or the rebel dimension. Okay. dimension. Yeah, you know that actually has to be my my two favorite dimensions. 
Actually, I just love when, you know, doors and fucking, and like, like rouge and nails. And, like, that was actually beautiful. So, I also love, really, really love doors. I was like, I love how they gave her, not like that. I did actually took three episodes. Three long I think it was like three or two. Like I think it was three. You give her the action to you. To end up making the joke. So yeah, I just love Dory though. She's actually a really cool character. Oh, so I think they, they should do Sonic Mo and Sonic Prime season two. I think what they should do is bring in silver. Oh, Fuck yes, they should definitely bring in Silver. Silver is a really cool character. <clears throat> Even though he literally impaired in the worst Sonic game ever. I'm like, but come on! We, we have worse Sonic games. <clears throat> Sonic Boom. <clears throat> but yeah. But we have like worse Sonic games, you know? <clears throat> Sonic Boom. <clears throat> but yeah, um, that worse Sonic games. Um,. Yeah, the show is pretty good. It's really, really good. It's on Netflix. Go check it out. I didn't really have... I don't know why I didn't really have any fucking spoilers. British. We're just talking about fucking characters and that's about it. But yeah, the character's console looks pretty cool. Pretty cool villains. I actually love to see multiple. And it's not why. So I think we should have saw like multiple Eggman that eat them and it actually cool though. But my only problem in the series is Sonic. Yep, my both Sonic. I don't really like him. Like I do not really like him in the series. And you'll find out why in my final dots. Right, time to get my final thoughts. But I need to share my pain before I share my final thoughts and share my damn opinion on Sonic. So, Sonic. Huh, they, just, they honestly did Sonic dirty in the They did real good. They did this, like, they kind of made him kind of like OVA Sonic. Her people don't know. I actually hate OVA. Not the Sonic OVA movie, but I just don't like Sonic character in general. He seems conscious and asshole in the Sonic of the game movie. Watch. Sonic himself honestly does. He only kind of acts like a complete jackass. And that's literally the opposite of his character. Um. Alright, but, but when I'm, but I'm not talking about Sonic of the game, I actually probably will work with Sonic of the game. He may be sometime in the future, but yeah. I'm talking about Sonic Prime. So I do not like Sonic in this movie. Like it made him way too cocky, way too gullible, just kinda like, like way too just cocky in general. I mean Sonic is one of his characteristics is that he's pretty cocky. But damn, they just made him way too fuck, fucking cocky. They also kinda made him to a fucking idiot too. Like they also kinda just made him a fucking idiot, honestly. They really did. Oh yeah, I miss. Forgot to mention spoilers. Um, that Sonic Prime actually ends off on a cliff. Yeah, the fucking series actually ends on the cliff. I was, I remember, I was in school. I didn't like. I was, I was on the bus. And I was finished watching the series. Like I was so fucking angry that the series end, ended on a cliffhanger. Cause I really wanna find out what happened next. Like goddamn, yeah. Like goddamn, Sega. You, you really gonna do me like that? And it's, leave us off on a fucking cliffhanger? Wow. Wow. But, but yeah. Um, yeah. Just, that series is pretty good. Alright, how do I rate this? How do I rate this? Sonic Prime? 
even though I do have some nitpicks in the show, the show's really good. Like, it's really good. I give it, oh, um, nine chili dogs out of ten. Yeah, nine chili dogs out of ten. But this case rings, though, because, yeah. I give it, but still, I give it nine chili dogs out of ten. Um, yeah, bye, guys. This is it for the video.